Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Got another video for you guys. Before we get into it, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment below. Article here is from Bleeping Computer. FBI hackers increasingly exploit DeFi bugs to steal cryptocurrency. And I remember I had posted something on LinkedIn months ago talking about these issues and that we're going to see more of these issues in the near future because, let's face it, there's a lot of money to be made in cryptocurrency, legitimately and illegally. And the bad guys realize this. Therefore, they're gonna target those cryptocurrency or blockchain companies or their technologies. They're gonna look, start probing, prodding, until they find some kind of vulnerability in the bridges or in the blockchain tech itself, exploit that vulnerability, and then in turn, steal the money out of there. The U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation is warning investors that cyber criminals are increasingly exploiting security vulnerabilities in decentralized finance platforms to steal cryptocurrency. Right, what I just said before, FBI has observed cyber criminals exploiting vulnerabilities in smart contracts governing DeFi platforms to steal investors, cryptocurrency, the federal law invest or enforcement agency said, encouraging investors to suspect cyber criminals have stolen DeFi investments to contact FBI, right? Usual stuff, you get hacked, contact FBI. Their IC3 Internet Crime Complaint Center, roughly 1.3 billion in cryptocurrency, stolen between January to March 2022, snatched almost 97% of it from DeFi platform. That's a lot of money. And that's just in the first part of 2022. And I wonder what else is in store for this year and then next year. Hopefully, these companies that got hacked are making the necessary improvements to secure their, their blockchain technologies or their bridges their smart contracts, what have you. Hopefully they're getting some kind of auditing or penetration testing done to their smart contracts or their other tech to ensure that vulnerabilities are discovered by you know, white hat hackers and then in turn remediating those vulnerabilities. And on another note, this can be a good career field to get into penetration testing or auditing of smart contracts. I'm sure there's a lot of money to be made there. A lot of these Cryptocurrency or blockchain companies are offering, you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars for bug bounty programs. So I recommend looking into that if, if that's the sort of thing you want to get into. Per FBI calculations, this amounts to significant increase from 72% in 2021 and approximately 30% in 2020, respectively, right? That's a massive increase just from 2020 itself. Attackers have used various methods to hack and steal cryptocurrency from DeFi platforms, including initiating flash loans that trigger exploits in the platform smart contracts and exploiting signature verification flaws in their token bridge to withdraw all investments. Let's see here. FBI recommends investors take precautions for making investment decisions, such as to research DeFi platforms, protocol, smart contracts, blah, blah, blah. Ensure the DeFi investment platform has included or conducted one or more code audits performed by independent auditors. Of course, be alert to DeFi investment pools with extremely limited time frames to join rapidly the rapid development of smart contracts, especially without the recommended code audit. Be aware of potential risk posed by crowdsource solutions, blah, blah, blah. Right, another thing to mention here is that there are a lot of pump and dump scams in crypto, so be aware of that. There was one that happened a while back when uh, Squid Games came out. It was called like Squid Coin or something. Anyway, they ended up scamming a lot of people out of a lot of money. I mean, they got the so-called investors in and basically they dumped it and then they deleted like their Twitter page or something. It was crazy. DeFi platforms under heavy targeting. FBI warning follows the chain analysis report from April that highlighted or highlighted how according to Q1 2022 data, DeFi crypto Currency platforms are now more targeted than ever, of course. Like I said, that the money's there. Attackers know that there's going to be weaknesses in the smart contracts or the blockchain technology bridges, what have you, and they're, they're going to target those platforms to get that money out of there. According to channel analysis, threat actors behind such attacks have laundered most of their stolen assets in 2022 using risky laundering services such as illegal exchanges and coin tumblers on the dark web. Now, Coin tumblers, basically, 
it's like a digital form of money laundering. I mean, there was one out there called Tornado Cash. I believe they shut it down and arrested the person that was running um, Tornado Cash. Let's see, while in 2021, around 25% of all cryptocurrency stolen through DeFi platforms was later recovered and returned to victims. I wouldn't rely on that. I mean, they can obviously get you, get your money back, but I wouldn't rely on getting all of your money back or any of your money back at all. These platforms can, you know, stop withdrawals of things. So if they do end up getting hacked, that's what they'll usually do. They'll go in and then they'll halt withdrawals and all that. And then I'll start doing an investigation and try to find out who actually did it. And then contact the hacker saying, hey, you know, we'll get we'll pay you X amount of money for if, if you return all this money. But, you know, what's the hacker going to do? Is he going to return the money that he made much more from stealing from the the uh, organization? Or is he going to turn himself in and return the funds to get, you know, a fraction of what was stolen out of there? See, you can see the chart here, massive growth in those um, hacks. It's pretty crazy. Just in Q1 by itself, look at that. That's insane. But I think we're going to see more and more of these hacks coming out. In April, the FBI linked the hack of Axie Infinity's Ronin Network Bridge, now the largest crypto hack ever, to the Lazarus and Blue North Off, aka APT, 38 North Korean threat groups. Right. The Lazarus Group is a known APT from North Korea, and they tend to hack these crypto exchanges because of all of the the laws and regulations against North Korea from like you know the United States they put all these sanctions and stuff out so they have to find alternative methods to get money and this is what they turn to and it's kind of unfair I mean these guys are nation state or nation state sponsored attackers and they're attacking you know regular companies so it's kind of unfair but hey bad guys don't do things that are fair most of the time it is what it is. The previous most significant theft of cryptocurrency was the 611 million hack of the decentralized cross-chain platform and network, Poly Network in August 2021. Yeah, that was a big one last year. I remember reading about that. And I could just only predict that more of these attacks were going to happen because that's where the money is. And cyber criminals like money, of course. So they're going to attack your DeFi platforms, smart contracts, blockchain tech, what have you. Let's see here. Cyber criminals seek to take advantage of investors, increase interest in cryptocurrencies, as well as the complexities, blah, blah, blah. Investors should make their own investment decisions based on their financial objectives and financial resources. And if any doubt, just seek advice from a licensed financial advisor. Basically, they're saying do your own research, do your own DD. Make sure you're not just going in and buying up some strange cryptocurrency that's not well known. It just came out freshly new because you're exposing yourself to a lot of unnecessary risk and then you might end up being part of the people that get hacked your money's gone anyway if you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button hit the like button comment below on your thoughts and opinions what are you guys seeing out there thank you